Hi everyone and welcome back. So today we'll be discussing about the bathroom. Just to tell you before is that we'll be recording video maximum three times a week, minimum once a week. If anything like this changes, we'll let you know and yeah. Also, the video will be connected to the four spheres, hydrosphere and geosphere video. So I recommend going back and checking it out. Also, the next video it will be about atmosphere. So if you don't know a lot about that, it's a great way to understand it next. Okay, so let's learn what the biosphere is before we dive deeper into it. The biosphere is made up of parts of the earth where life exists, such as trees or mountains filled with life. It could be from animals to plants to moss to anything there is. However, it has to be living. The biosphere includes food chains and food webs. You may have heard of them, and they aren't hard to understand. They're both very connected deeply. For example, the food chain is a simpler model of the food web. To show you this, we're going to be comparing two pictures and try and understand what it is they're trying to show and what is not. Okay, so in both of the pictures, they were food chains and food webs. This one's a food chain and this one's a food web. So in the food chain, it starts with the sun, and the plant uses photosynthesis to get the energy from the sun and use it to grow. Then the animal will eat the plant to get it to grow itself. This is called the primary consumer, the one eating the plant, or the one that starts after the sun. Or it could be like, or instead of the plant, it could be a tree, like a giraffe. After that is this animal. This animal, known as the lion, is eaten from the other animal. This is called a secondary consumer, and it's similar to how um, the rest of it goes. It's getting energy. The last one is a decomposer. This will be the animal's leaf, and it will be turned into plant plants. Now here's the food web. The food web is basically what I said, like the grass, then the rabbit, then the hawk, or it could be the grass, the rabbit, the hawk. That's a food chain. However, in this diagram, it's more complicated since um, the grass isn't only eaten by the rabbit, it's eaten by the mouse and the grasshopper. And the grasshopper is eaten by the bird and frog. So, in a food web, all of these animals combine and make it uh, tangled and really complex. And over here, we're going to be going over prey and predator. So prey is when um, another animal eats it. For example, if a frog eats a grasshopper, the grasshopper would be the prey, and the frog will be the predator. However, the frog isn't the only predator. It's also a prey, since the owl is being is eating the frog, it's a prey and predator. But a grasshopper is just a prey. So here's a more complex diagram. It's basically a food chain in or food web if there's a lot of it. But it, this is going over the energy. So the plants and seagrass have a thousand pounds 
of of energy. Then let's say a fish eats it and gets a hundred pounds. So you're dividing ten. And then this bigger fish eats the smaller fish, and then it gets ten pounds. Then it's eaten by the gray shark, which only gets one pound. So the grass has a thousand pounds, but at the end, the gray reef shark only has one pound. This is why predators need to eat a lot to sustain their energy. One interaction between the biosphere, geosphere, and hydrosphere is this plant. The plant uses the geosphere, the dirt, to grow, and it uses the rain, so it can be able to grow more. This is one really useful connection of the hydrosphere, geosphere, and biosphere. So that is all, and next video is going to be all about the atmosphere, and I'll see you next time.